Mos， 人类能活下来吗？从历史上看，文明的命运。This is HKB, the channel where we go to Hong Kong and beyond. I'm Leon, and today I will be telling you about Cine Asia's latest physical media release. It is the film. The Wandering Earth 2, which was the huge sci-fi epic from China, it was the best UK box office for Chinese film in 15 years, and was directed by the visionary Frank Guo, who also made The Sacrifice. We've got Hong Kong megastars Andy Lau and Wu Jing in there, and I'm not going to tell you too much about the film in this video because we're just going to have a little look at the 4K release itself. If you would like to know about the film in detail, I will add a link to this video, and you will find it on our channel where we reviewed the film when it came out at the cinema. This film is an absolutely stunning sci-fi film, and 4K really is the format that suits it best. There is so much going on on the screen, and all the fantastic effects and the amazing CG that are implemented in this film look so good on this 4K release. We also have a Blu-ray in there, in case you don't have capabilities for 4K now. You could buy this steelbook, watch the Blu-ray, and later on when you upgrade your equipment, you'll have the 4K there ready. If you don't want to spend the money on this special edition 4K, there is also a solo Blu-ray available, and also a DVD, which were both released back on the 30th of October. So the options are really good for this release from Cine Asia. And we also have more than just the film. On this disc, we have some mini making ofs. We've got one called Emotion, one called Space Elevator, Hard Production, and Face Changing. Now these might be short, little making ofs. We're talking about three to four minutes each, but each one of them is about the movie, and it gives you some detailed background. As to how they did what they did with this film, going into the effects, like the face changing, for instance, how they made Andy Lau look younger, then made him look much older. So it's really valuable extras. Again, it might not be lots of extras, but what's there is all very valuable and great to have on this disc. If I was honest, I would like to see perhaps a little bit more length on some of these extras. And perhaps a like half an hour making off, but if that material's not there, it's simply just not there. And also for a company like Cine Asia, they got to make it worthwhile to spend money to put on these releases. So my advice would be to everybody: if you want to see more in the future, then perhaps invest in what they're releasing because they are releasing absolutely great films, and the editions they're releasing look fantastic. They sound fantastic, and the subtitles on them are superb. Now, Shaz and I saw this film at the cinema, and it looked wonderful on the big screen. But the only thing was, the projectionist at the time had the subtitles coming off the screen, and the subtitles that was on the film at the cinema were nowhere near as good as what's on this release. This release, so easy to read, it makes it an easy watch, even for a three-hour film. It's a lot. Easier than you'd expect. This is really one for you collectors out there because the steel book looks absolutely beautiful. So kudos to Cine Asia for taking the time with this release, as I imagine they have done, and giving us something really rather special. I think that's all I have to say on this at the minute. I hope a lot of you out there get this in your stocking for Christmas because it truly is beautiful release. And if you get chance to, please share this video. Share the release on social media. Let's give these guys the support they need and deserve. And then, who knows? Sky's the limit for what we could get in the future. Thank you for watching this video, and we will catch you on the next one. I believe we will again see the sky, the flowers, the flowers.